Like, so two things in the compositions, right? I, I do think that, uh, and I've spoken about this before, uh, many, many, many more teams will be trying out uh, Cypher or Killjoy plus Chamber on many maps. I think this is going to be the meta moving forward, like on many maps, like on, for example, on Split, it might be a good win condition, on Lotus, on on Ascent as well, like having access to so many traps and have access to also Chamber's inability to, tr to be traded oh, really while on the good, maps yeah. are just so, like let's see. say, confined to choke points might be very good. You know, so we'll see how that goes uh, in the future. Uh, I'm thinking that's going to be the matter in, in, in the next few months. Um, but uh, the sky, I feel like the sky is just a choice that I very much dislike on Lotus. And, and the reason why is like the teams are choosing sky only because of those two things here. Because of the tiger and because of the flash. Nothing else really matters here. Like the, the heal is non consequential. It's really, it's not something that you take into account when choosing this character to play on the map and the ultimate it just sucks it just sucks on this map because of the uh rotating doors like many times you will have very limited value out of the ultimate because you cannot really ult unless you t you'd like open the doors because you're right next to it or uh you're not gonna have even the, the place to maneuver like that right so there might be some value lost out of this ultimate and it, it, because of that, teams might actually hold to this ultimate while doing a full retake or like they're going to be next to the site, right? So it's like very limiting you how you're going to play on this map with, with, the, with the ultimate. Uh, I do think that Breach is more flexible. I know that it's way easier to play around the Breach here because uh, the, the, the space is a little bit more open. Uh, but in general, I do think Breach is is the in my eyes better choice more flexible one gives you a lot of more access as well to to useful tools and if even if not breach then i would say that sova is is also a good choice and i would probably rather have sova than than sky but then you have to supplement a different character with flashes so maybe ko is a better choice and then ko is uh well overall good right so I don't know. I feel like if you if you choose Sky over KO, that means you favor the fact that your flashes are recurring and give like semi info over the fact that you will have an insanely valuable uh, ultimate and damage ability on top of that. So it's like mm, you know, we'll see. Pandit Black from for the thirty months. Welcome back, brother. How are we doing? Thanks so much for the continuous support. So actually, I need to kill this transition because I will be swapping between uh, between the zoom in. All right. Started, up and the kicks off right away. Uh, you you see this a lot, by the way. On on Lotus, on Lotus, uh, this is so important, like fighting for this area. You will see this basically being a re repeatable thing from both sides. Like this small area over here is being fought at the beginning. If you have a breach, this is typically stunned. If you have a neon, this is typically stunned, as you can see. Um, and it's followed up by a one-way smoke over here or a a, just a normal smoke over here or normal smoke over here depending on the character that you play um and just people fight for this location early to basically cut off a huge part of the map for the map control right because if the defenders control this this part of the map and the cutoff is here in this space right then look at the mini map this is all that you control like all of this part of this map is essentially cut off so you're like making certain that your, your opponents will be in this pink area, which is huge amount of information, right? Uh, and the problem is, though, if your opponents will find a way to fight you back. This one started. Barriers up and the action kicks off right away. Zelsis blitzing down on A and gaining a lot of space with that flash, but they look to make up for it on the other side as Paper X moved towards C. Spotted the chamber and a quick TP out. We see that escapism with some early aggression on C. Beautiful use of the chamber, but ultimately mm. he's going to be forced back. I wonder if that Boombot was accidental. It was kind of like a like a elevator for the Boombot. Oh, come on, Mind Freak. Oh, come on. There's no way he did this on purpose. Right? Like, you see the wall in the corner. You don't want to break this. 
Like, you, you can plant over here. You can plant over here. There's a problem. You know, it doesn't really change much for the diffusal. Like, it, it adds, like, one more position to the diffusal, to the, to the diffusal but it, it does. Th this wall was just built up. Like, oof. I wonder if this is going to matter. Let's see. Man, the quality is really shit. Why are you peeking? Oh my god, dude. I'm already mad. Yeah, this is, this is like... It was a dry peek as well. Look, Mindfuck has 10 seconds till the smoke, right? The Vi is probably like 10 seconds away from the flash as well. Let, let us check. Will we see? Like, this is just, look, there's nothing you can do here. You're just peeking alone into CT while also being almost exposed to waterfall. So it's like, why on earth would we be doing that instead of just holding the angle, right? And you have a player next to you. This, this is a terrible choice. Like, th there's no, there's absolutely zero, uh, zero, like, excuses for that, you know? Can I see the Vi? He just used it. Look at this. Look at this. He just used this flash. So, if they would communicate, Mind Freak could have peaked with a flash, because Sky can, like, for example, explode, it, like, next to the pillar. So, she flashes Waterfall, she flashes CT, right? And he can peek. To keep it going as well. Paper X needs Do you feel pistol rounds in this game are 250 50? No if people play it like this, yes. Look, in CS, pistol rounds are also random. That's why I like the aspect of the force with the stingers. It removed the RNG from the pistol round, essentially. But now, it's gonna be a problem, because the only ordinary side that can force, uh, uh, like, consistently, is the attackers. Defenders can never force if they lose the pistol round. Some of these compositions, you know, the last time we saw Lotus, it wasn't too far separated, but right here, you have some swap outs, like yeah. the Neon on one side for Cloud9, Jing coming in with the, the Rays. So, yeah, he's using the TP, the, you, guys, you guys, if you want to see potential, like, usage of, of, of uh, Chamber and Lotus, I'll release a video on Lotus Lab about it, like, when Lotus got released. Because I thought that Chamber is actually very good on this map. So this is one of the TPs, basic TPs that you would like to use. That is in Waterfall. It gives you access to so much space here. I actually, it's kind of interesting that he puts it here. Look. Why on earth is it based in here instead of this spot here? That get, this would give you a little bit more space. Ah, probably because you cannot stand in this spot over here. Let me check. I'm not going to load it in, into a custom map, but we can ch check it like this, at least. If I'm not mistaken, he puts it here. Yep, exactly. So, wait, actually you can. All right, I will load out. Uh, I will load in a custom map just to check. But I'm almost certain you can be in that corridor also while putting it in the corner. It will not look like that. Uh, I might be wrong, but I'm almost certain that I'm not, um, because the range is like the range showed sometimes on the mini map shows that you don't have the range, but you actually do if you're hugging the wall or something, you know. So we'll check, because I'm almost certain you're able to stand in the corridor still with the, with the TP in the corner. I also wish the ghost got some love, because it really feels the worst buy, because it's weird price. I don't really think so, but... Um, I don't know, like, I, I just like using classic, because I like utility, not because ghost sucks, you know? Alright, let me check. Because he puts it here, right? So he has access to the corridor over here. That's why. 
But if you put it in the corner, let's see. Ah, okay, you don't have it. Okay, that's that's why he puts it here. Just because of the axis here. Just because of the axis here. The thing is, if you I don't like this for one reason. Because if you have the TP over here and you're standing in this space, you're killed. Like you're one if you're alone on site, you are killed when you're TPing here because it takes so long. Look. That's the second shot. Like if if someone completely runs you over, you're dead. So, we'll see. We'll see if, he, if he's actually if he's repeating this TP. Let's see if he's getting punished anytime. That's slowed from strap. Yeah, well, it's not that tough to destroy it like this one. And now I don't uh, well he used the TP already, right? But see that TP is now kind of useless and he has to recall it. Did he recall it? Yeah, he did recall it. Doing a hell of a lot of damage, but the first kill does go the way of Paper X. That's one thing I didn't expect to see. The headhunter used for the wall bangs, just another benefit that can be found. And that damage is still sitting. It makes it an easy kill on a divide. Far away with a Spectre, but only one shot needed. Up close, here comes the classic with no chance. And it looks like Jing is going to have to Oof. do any remaining damage. Look, all things considered, though, walking out with three kills, that's uh, not a bad round for Paper Yeah, you're getting one there is crazy. Yeah. yeah. No, really not bad at all. Uh, they've earned a few extra finances. They've caused some costs on the other side. Even got a few alt orbs along the way. So I don't think you can have too many complaints. But now is where I really want to see what they've got. Because one of the real benefits I'm seeing of having that cypher... Well, what is the plan for PRX, by the way? They fully... F uh, no, not PRX. For, for C9. Uh, what is the buy? But they have the cypher to back up. On the other side, the things forsaken... No, I would like to see the equipment. It looks like we might be seeing that. Uh, yeah. So, Cloud9 actually rebought everything. They have zero cash. The three players that died are rebuying. Oh, wait, by the way, I need to check because PRX lost second round, didn't force. I need to check if they bought utility. I'm so sorry for this. <laughs> if they bought utility. I need to check this. Oh, come on, man. No paranoia bought. No wall bot. No, no dingo for the Vi. No trap. No boom bot. Come on, man. Like, you're buying this for the next round anyway, right? Maybe not the boom bot. Let me check now the next round. Just wall him up to take an early fight. Well, Benkai did buy the wall. Uh, yeah. yeah, everything is rebought. Right here. This is so annoying, man. Like, why on earth? Why on earth are the team teams not buying after losing the pistol round? Six shot. That is so disgusting. The plan from the start, and it works out perfectly. At this point, the A side under heavy threat, and they've got no one nearby. A late, very late flank from Ye is the best hope, I guess, right now. No, I, I will actually do the war party tomorrow, Shoradash. I'll, I'll move the TP. Uh, I will move the TP. I'll, the fact that Forsaken had a very bad crosser placement, like... This year, this year just comes off as lack of practice on, on this map. It's, it's uh, expected to have bad crosser placement in some situations because you just didn't play the map a lot, right? Like, there's, this is, there's no stairs over here in this spot there's n there are no stairs so this is a nut shot right it's just bad crosser placement because he's not moving it see like there's no way your opponent will be in a different position than this so there's no excuse for that apart from the fact that he might not have played the map that much so I'll, i will be streaming tomorrow instead of uh, sunday Yeah, and he gets punished by it, man. Actually, crazy, man. Re peeking into into that in, into that chamber is like kind of asking for it.
Yeah, look, he was low HP and sort of playing for them going to B or C late on. If they'd made that rotate, it wasn't going to happen. They knew that. So you try to <laughs> grab the one kill with the Bulldog. It doesn't happen. Why are you going in with 30 HP throwing a Vandal? I don't know. And it's like people just like repeeking into Ye, you know? People just like giving him kills for free. There's no reason to hunt for Ye here because you have absolutely zero cash. I know that the, that Ye also doesn't have cash, but it's more important for you to build up economy as attackers than the defenders here. I do already like though that we're seeing why that sage is in play. They have the idea, they have some creativity, and as, as mentioned, Zelsus is a basically state because it makes you instantly. And by the way, that's again mind freak. This is like this is like the second time mind freak gets gets uh, like the, does something that doesn't make any sense and gets punished for it. Maybe pushing a little bit closer to the right on the wall. You know, it, there's ways around this, but that is a big blow to the team right away. Now, they did save the operator over. It's still going to be in play here for Forsaken, and we're not going to see the same attempt. The wall not going up this time, and. Well, you can search. well, I definitely feel like PRX is not adjusting. Th this is the third third um, time they're being attacked with the one way. And instead, they put this smoke here. Like, you could, what you could do, what you could do is literally counter the one way by extending the smoke yourself, right? Just by extending the smoke yourself somewhere here, or like even here would allow you to be more aggressive because of that. Extending the smoke over here doesn't really do anything about Zelsus pushing into broken wall, and he does that every round now, right? And he got punished by the overpeak on, on the Sage. Well, uh, last round, but it is what it is. The other thing as well is the damage that was done in the prior round is actually enough for them not to buy here. They're going for a half investment. They've got Ye just coming in with that right... Yeah, that's... Like, he didn't have TP, right? To buy here. They're going for yeah, he doesn't have a TP. He's just pushing out with an operator with no way of going back. For half investment. They've got Ye Ye <laughs> like, I know he got baited by the Sky ult, but this is not correct. Like, in any world, even with the Sky ult, this is not correct. Just coming in with that right... Oh! Sometimes, though, that's, that's even a free an operator up. into his hands. He could fight for this, try and do something in the round, and then just bring it through into the next. And they're already putting some serious pressure on. Yeah, he's got another already. They give him an inch, he'll take a mile, and they're surrounding them. The numbers come out way in Cloud9's favor. And the last man standing, Mime Freak, he smoked himself off, but they've heard him. They know exactly where he's coming yeah. from. At this point, I, I mean, he's got to get in there and grab the spike. He's one orb away. Yeah. Have they left an orb on A? That might be what he's thinking. Unfortunately, he's about to be trying to go way through, so they've got a little bit of information. I think they already took the orb on A. Like, like b because they, they fight for this oh, area already. Yeah, 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 they took the orb. Happen, though, and I don't know if they took it. Oh, oh they, shit, minimap big? Oh, my bad, my bad, my bad. They, they pushed that early in the round, so not really a reason for them. There's a chance here to take Zephyr, but no. Battle goes the way of C9, and... I remember us looking at those Four rounds, and so far two rounds are being thrown by someone from PRX, like Mind Freak or Forsaken in this case. And I, look, there's a world where you sit here and you criticize that push out of Forsaken. It was crazy aggressive, but it is an exact flip on what we saw Ye attempt early on. He's yeah, but it's not, get a pick it, it's not that niche because he... Ye does that when he has a TP out. <laughs> out. Forsaken wants to do the same thing, and... Nine times out of ten in a round like that, he'll get that shot off first. He'll get out of there. Just so happens, the guy who comes swinging has a rifle, and it was El Diablo. Not oh, getting away with like, that. Also, it's very important, important to understand that this round, they had an eco. Like, you, you pushing out against them gives them out. Still, that rifle have one rifle, and actually, Torta Force is available. They can now juggle that weapon across and bring that through if they so desire. It will be ready for the next round no matter what, so they could just opt to save it. I, I don't think Mitch can hear you, though. Oh, he knows what I mean. <laughs> Wait, what? What happened to the trap? Oh, for a second, just didn't use the trap. Okay. See, like this, this old had absolutely zero value right here. 
two healers on paper ranks, okay. right? It's not really a category of its own, but they have the ability to get those guys right back up to full HP, and that's what they were doing with Forsaken, getting them the extra little bit of health. He's gone back down. I really, really dislike, dislike this guy old on this map. Really dislike it. Made its way into another player's hands. It's Mind Freak. Mind Freak's the last man. They come in. Oh, he's actually managed to get past it. Jinx just goes blast backing through and gets two. That's absurd. He got over the trip just about, and now Mind Freak's found another. It's the weak buys that are playing a part in this map so far. A Mozeppa, 1v3. Look at the TP now. Edge, yeah, well, this is the other, like, this is, if you watch my video in Lotus Lab, this is the other uh, TP that you do if you want to have it on B as well. Look, I, I pointed out this TP exactly in my video. If you do it here, you're able to stand in this position and be in range of the TP. So you're able to stand over here. Right? Over here. It's like bind desk. Over here. Over here. And you can still TP the waterfall for a fast rotation. Oh, this is absolutely crazy. We'll talk about that if Zeppa will give him a moment to maybe try and close this out, but there's so many players all grouped up on the site looking to trade. He's walled off on one side and well, smoked off on the other. They know exactly where to look, and it's as easy as can be. Paper X right back up there. What a round to get it on. A thrifty, and one where they had a rifle, and yes, it got the first pick, healed back up, and traded out, but the reality was, for me, when I look at that push onto the site, Mind Freak has the rifle, the other two have pistols, and it's this guy in through a nade, blast packing with a bulldog to get a double. Well, the, it's the, just the outrageous. Well, so they had a trap up front, which the wall blocked, and then they had a trip just behind it, which he went over with the blast pack. Just, so. You just can't, you can't <laughs> do so that. That's so cursed. That's so cursed for C9. The setup was decent, but Jing. And the, rifles holding the, the A back. fight no, seems to be happening every single round. This time with no, with no wall, and they got stopped by the by the paint shells. So that's different. But I don't know, man. The the wall boost worked once in the round where the one way didn't appear, but now it's appearing like every round. So that wall boost is being counted. Oh, well, he got. Uh, that trap got instantly. It gets instantly destroyed, right? Yeah, because he put it like. Those are small things. Look, those are small things. But putting the trap like this is a bad like thinking too fast. Because if you put it out here, then it can be easily destroyed from long range because it's gonna be visible from here. But if you just put it here. Then it allows you to have more control because the player has to put out, push out into this area, right? Look. See? Like it's being put out in the open. So it can be destroyed by the player who's not even pushing into this area. It's just going to be destroyed from here, from outside. Those are small things, but they do matter when it comes to getting map control, you know? made their move in towards this b-site showstopper is going to force them out completely now Dubai is gone but the site is theirs yeah and they've also lost their player as you said Dubai on the way through to that operator right you know that this player's lurking Oof. okay hello he's just running it in taking all the space in their spawn and Lol. Is okay. fully yeah, fully blinded. fully kill. blinded you guess a kill not enough here yay yeah, he has to do everything not this time that is a clean round. Sure, they use a res, still walk out with two alive, but look how much C9 threw at that one. And now they're left with just a couple of credits. Yeah, that's the thing. They, they In most of these rounds, we're now seeing the Cypher setup get pushed into, and each time a blast pack removes it, and it's just Jing. Yeah. He's just taking so much space. Yeah. Pushing further forward. Yeah, we thought, entries, like, Jing just kind of forces players away from the site. This, this time it was because of the ultimate. So I don't, I don't, I don't think it's like replicable a lot on B times, you know? Like, it's just hard to replica, uh, repl replicate that without that ultimate. Luckily, he didn't land the shot. Got out just before he was picked off. Multiplayers pushing out mid. Like it's a it's a good good uh, spot from Forsaken because um because of the change of the way that C9 is playing A. Like all of the rounds so far, six rounds, they had the ultra push on A in the first tempo, 
like the neon wall, the stuns, the one way. And this time it's being played out differently. They have no one in this area, right? Apart from Ye who TP'd out. And because of that, Forsaken is now holding flank because he expects a change of the push to a different direction on the map. So that's good spot from by Forsaken. Right? Sees multiple players coming, eh? yeah, th this time he's aiming lower because he's aiming actually where, like, there are stairs here. This is stairs. So someone peeking him out, like, this is actual head here, and he's aiming correctly this time for the push from this position on the minimap. But he's not holding it correctly if someone is pushing out on B. So this angle could have, could have been a little bit corrected, you know? But then he cannot hold, like, C push that consistently because someone can sneak by close to the wall. But I don't think that would happen. But yeah, we'll see. Oh. Oh. Well, that's unfortunate. Yeah, now, now he's fucked. That's, um... I, I think that's... Uh, you, you can say timing, right? But look at the minimap. Nothing changed. His team doesn't need his help. Right here. Look. His team doesn't need his help. The doors are not destroyed. They are pushing just A side. And he doesn't need to do anything else than hold the flank. Because nothing else matters that much. His team is going to get to side. And, and that's about it. You know? He was worried about stairs. But it's not his job to hold stairs. Like that's, that's his teammate's job. In the meantime, they've got El Diablo waiting and he gets nothing this time. Again, another entry into the site from Jing. Still, this brawl looks fairly awkward and the Stinger has found one. But even still, these fights are going the way of Paybrex for the moment. Back to a 2v2, however. Spike finally going down and there's actually a wraparound coming in. Oh, a very good attempt, though, from C9 considering what they invested into it. Look, they've made this incredibly close and they still have a chance to close it. The weaponry, though, is such a heavy disadvantage. That stinger on vanity. But, oh, what? He's walked up behind. Yeah. Oh, I can't believe. Oh, what? What he is this sage weaponry, watching? Such a heavy disadvantage. That's I mean, she's okay. She cannot watch drop because of the sage wall. Stinger on. So this is an unlucky timing. But still, like, if that's the case, if the sage wall is here, then the sage is, is looking here, and Davai should be just standing here watching this, or watching rope, just not even stand here at all, or just join the sage. But I, I guess shit happens, you know? That's a hindsight Harry. But that is just crazy. I don't think I've ever seen a classic play like that. Especially not against the four. I love how people analyze without hearing comms. Yeah, you don't have to watch. You can watch something else. By vanity. I, he might have even dropped an operator on the floor to spam instead with the stinger. Just so that distraction was a little bit more believable. That is utter madness. And just, well, perfect shots with a classic. I, I think you could replay that 50 times and he probably doesn't get those kills. They heard two weapons. They thought there's two players. You know, it's a reasonable decision to make. That's a pretty good deduction. I think Sherlock Holmes would have fallen for that one. But <laughs> that's just, just that's, with a classic. And I even thought comms hearing, without hearing comms is fine. What in comms would you make believe the angles of Sage and Sky is correct? Unless someone literally lies and says two are here coming out of stairs, there's no reason to hold it like that. But you know, it's okay. Let the trolls be trolls. <laughs> hello, Mary. Hello, Will. Yeah, but they also want North. Now there's the team both positions, and we've got differences. So it's been a risk so far. I'd say Paybrex have been slightly better just because you're looking at the pistol rounds going the other way. But ultimately, it's incredibly close. Four to three. Oh, Forsaken. Yeah, I don't know, man. Like, of course, has that TP that really, I feel like without utility being used, Forsaken now is being useless at the beginning of the rounds for like four rounds now. Because he's always doing that, always doing that push on A when he knows that Cloud9 is battling for him apart for the one round when they won low by. So it's like they had no chamber value for the first 40 seconds because he just peeks into the stun. You know? They've got that showstopper online once again, and it already caused issues. They've actually put an elevated trip as well, just to try and catch anyone, well, maybe blast packing their way through. Instead, well, I think Jing is going to lead the way again. 
Yeah, you can't blame him the way he's been playing. Right into his nade again. Very little damage taken, but the space is the trade-off. Dude, Jinx, Jinx has again an ultimate? That's crazy, man. Just have ended Cloud9's chances. A two versus three, Jing Lo. But that spike, it should be planted. Vanity! How did he get How did... A two versus three, Jing Lo. But that spike, it should be planted. Vanity! Chances. A two versus three, Jing Lo. But that's... Er, and it might just have ended Cloud9's chances. A two versus three, Jing Lo. But that spike, it should be planted. Vanity! How did he get that angle? I'm not cool. He's up on top, unaccounted for, and traded out in the end. I'm not cool. Uh, you can be a hindsight, hindsight, hindsight 2020 Harry here. And uh, look look at the positioning from the players, right? So this is just like unlucky, I guess. And in hindsight, you could say, why not go here, right? Through, through this angle to be more safe. Because when you look at the minimap, they're pushing really aggressively with this spike towards top of sight. So if you go into this direction... And you have the spike, you don't have to plant in default. Like, planting in this corner here is fine as well, right? This is, like, very niche stuff. But it's, like, I feel like in, on new maps, players would, will not have those habits yet or will go into defaulting even when they don't have to, right? Like, you don't need to peek into CT when you can plant in this spot, right? But players just don't have a lot of experience on the map yet. So they might go into, oh, we always plant over here. Oh, we always plant over here, and they're not flexible yet on the um, on changing the plan accordingly to what's happening in the round. Easy peasy. It's great showstopper, though. Yeah, these rounds are so back and forth. Like, the space taken from Jing is, again, fantastic. The initial battle goes there. No, I'm, I'm going to do the two maps from C9 today and then play some games. I don't want to do, do too many vote reviews. Also, okay, so I thought they were fighting, but you can literally see Sage with a knife out. And that has no excuse. Like, I was lit I, I literally thought that Sage and Raze are having guns out and they are just having a normal fight with Vanity, but this is, a, this is just a blunder. This should never happen on this level. Like this. Like, you are in enemy territory. You don't have to run with a knife out. Man unaccounted for. Like, that is just a throw. Different um, smoke by defenders this time. Not a, not a one way. And not accounting for where that player is. Oof. This time it's on paper X and... Okay, that stun is decent. Zelsus, I thought he was going to go back and get out of there, but he, of course, has Zeppa. So he's going to stick around and they get the kill for their trouble. Yeah, I feel like PRX just doesn't have enough utility to fight for the A main. Like, because of the way that they, they build their compositions, they have literally no stun. Like, because they have Sage, they have a character who, apart from boosting someone early for an angle that is easily countered by the smoke, they don't have a lot of value out of chamber and they don't have a lot of value out of Sage because of the way that they build the composition. So you would have to sacrifice to control the A main, to fight Cloud9, right, over here. You would have to sacrifice Paranoia early on, and you don't have any certainty on hitting anything, right, because the Neon is super fast, you don't know how exactly they will play. This is like super wide area, so the Paranoia can miss, right? And you would just require the Omen to like kind of insta-TP onto the wall, or behind the wall, sorry. Um, to like battle for this for for this area, and then force players off with the sky flash. Like all of that would have to happen in once in 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 one span of a second, right? And the problem is they don't have the mobility and they don't have the stuns. So fighting for a main is like most likely lost just based on how much utility they have. But they're still trying to do it. Like, I feel like if you are PRX, you should be like, okay, fuck it. We, do, we can't really fight A main. Let's play slow. Let's retake this after the initial utility is being used. We cannot really fight it, right? But instead, they're going into the meat grinder every round. 
lucky to walk out with a couple of kills. This is quickly turned from a, a very close game, just in that one round. We're already expecting C9 to walk out with six. There, oh, they have pistols! Oh. They have pistols, Zephyr! Okay, it, it's sort of stabilizing. Dubai so desperately low on HP. Definitely makes things a bit more awkward. And while eventually C9 do come out with three players alive. These are Where Pyrex really throwing? You can't say throwing as in, oh, they're throwing because they have, I don't know, black market bets on themselves or something like that. They, every single player wants to win here. And it's also, it, it pisses me off so much when a, when someone on Reddit says, oh, they're just saving strats for the season, man. This tournament's not important. Of course it's fucking important. No one is saving strats for this tournament. All of the teams were boot camping to prepare for this tournament. You think they are not taking it seriously? They're taking it very seriously. But then the C side, right? If you think, okay, A, they're getting the control early. Maybe we don't want to challenge that or anymore. Then you look at the other side of C, and the majority of the time, that's where Ye is early round. With a yeah. Why don't you play as an esports player? An operator. That means if you go well, there, I'm not good enough to be a tier one pro. I know they're comfortable retaking C. They've done a damn good job of it so far. All in all, there's a lot of problems that pay for Rex. There's no point saving strats in this game because the meta changes constantly. Yeah, that's another aspect that is actually important context. That is true. And that is something that can be incredibly hard to deal with, especially Time out, players. okay. Again, they are fighting for A main control. Let's see if they change their approach. Because it seems like they potential against the Neon going fast for the wall. So there seems to be a little bit of adaptation. Fuck me. <clears throat> There's a little bit of adaptation here. Let's see if the paranoia is being used. I would imagine that the paranoia will be used because Omen is first in line, so he doesn't want to hit anyone else. But it also seems like he's trying to TP first, and I don't like that. Let's see if he uses the paranoia first. Oh, he's TPing. Uh, okay, I don't like that at all. Did he just went into his own paint shells? They're punishing with a quick flash and it's not a lot of damage but yeah but they did get this space for the first time successfully but now the problem is they are just five players here and because like look at look at c9 setup they don't need anyone on c side they don't need anyone there chamber alone is an anchor right now alongside the trap from the cypher and that allows them to stack a Look how fast the rotations will be happening. The Cypher will be joining A players in very, very short moment. And they will just play retake on B and C. And, uh, yeah. Oof. Well, good value out of the Tiger. Do they expect this many players to be on the site? Even spotting Leap, they might now think that there's no way Vanity would be there, but Forsaken, he was wise to their tricks, ready for the rotations to have come in. Okay, a little TP up. That got a little risky, but they know Leaf is stuck he's in this corner, going. and he's, he's on going. his way up. He's going to take him down from up top, and the op is going to get the <laughs> shot off on time. No trade, and no chance for Ye. A 1v4, it's not worth risking. Yo, Ye, save that KD. Ah, just joking. He's on like 23 HP and still just pushing in, getting into the back lines while the rest of his team set up for that. I think line. Fade gets a lot more value than Sov on this map as well. There's no killjoy. Fade only gets value on this map if you have a raise. If you don't have a raise, I would not play Fade. Yeah, the question. It normally doesn't center around will Ye walk out with the big faith push out of mind. Sir, far with the round. Instead, it looks like. What is the setup this time? Wow, that's an interesting setup. L look at this. Four C9 players on A side, and Omen is alone in Waterfall. It looks like he's going to be smoking B. No, he's smoking A. What is the plan here? They just posted Chamber and said, well, let's fuck off. Interesting approach. I think, yo, I, I honestly think that Cypher was late. He didn't do his setup in time, and that's why he's rotating so late during the round. I, I honestly believe that that happened. This can happen when the map is new. Okay. Well, you can get spammed from CT. Could have been angled a little bit more to the left, but this is like growing pains of new maps, right? You learn this stuff as you go. Like, you can't expect to be pixel perfect with your utility. This is like the first official on this map, right? So, but the problem is, 
And this is something that we have seen in Bind many times. We have seen in Icebox many times. Let, let's say we make a comparison to Icebox over here. When you go to Icebox and you plant on A site with the Sage Wall um, like this, right? You limit your post plant positions essentially to, to this area over here, right? And if you do that, well, you can't really fight for A site unless you already pushed A site before but then what's the point of this wall right and in this situation on on lotus this will be limiting you very similarly but even to a bigger choke point so as much as i like the plant because it's easy to do and by the way probably doing a wall that is angled like this is even better right like this so you're limiting the amount of angles from ct as well so you can plant over here without being uh, spotted at all but the problem is you are not taking B-side, so you're limiting yourself to this area, which is, which is quite ridiculous, right? So this is a problem in the post plant on B. And because of that, when you have a, such a limited amount of space on this, on this post plant, you will probably have to flank fast through waterfall or flank fast through A and doors if they are destroyed to have additional space in the post plant. But that is, that is going to be very tough to do. Let's see how they play this out, because this is actually a very interesting, uh, peculiar situation. But after that, Forsaken's thinking, ah, I don't need to stick around. Does he have a TP out? Yeah, he does. Too okay. Much. He'll stay inside his TP and just bail out afterwards. Yeah, and they have the smoke, right? So that choke point now is also now problematic. That but that's the thing. It, it puts you in a very good position to get the plant. I don't know if it's the greatest for the post plant. They've got to try and spam already. It's a big stop. Oh, Leaf's just going all the way. He's going to get it all the way through. That is just ridiculous. He just stuck it all the way through in that fight. If He's only my ranked players would uh, would have enough brain to be like, oh yeah, sticking the diffuse best option. The probability of that hell. He was on full HP the majority of the time. They thought, surely he's not on it. Surely he would have backed out from now. And even if he is there, he's about to die. Any new info about your Metal Song Swords? Well, you know what I was going to say? You metal Song Swords? You mean the, uh, the band that I played before starting in esports again? They are released on Spotify. Pepe next, exclamation mark, and Oli. A big chunky cypher sat there. He's obviously yeah. going to get taken down. But no, it's Neo from the Matrix. Another early take. And it's time it's Ye to lose his life. Tour de Force activated. This fight for A has been where the main brawl has Also, the plant here, uh, I just wanted to say, right? When you plant out in the open like this, um, like you're not limiting amount amount of, of angles that someone can be standing at. Uh, let me show it to you what I mean. Like, look, it's planted next to the wall, but the player can be standing here, 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 and here. All of those spots can be a player so you need to spam all of those spots this and this is in line this and this is in line right and this and this is in line so essentially you have like four spots where a player can stand like one two three four those are the spots a player can stand four spots right if you plant in the corner of the box then you actually know you even make more because if you wait well, now now when i think about it you can't really plant next to the box because the player can stand on the top of the box. Like, if you are planting it here, someone can defuse it from up top here. Maybe even from here. I would have to actually check it if it's possible. But I think you can even defuse from, like, top of the box here. So this is super risky. I would have to check it. I'm actually not certain if you can do this, but I, I would believe that you are able to do that. So that's kind of risky, like, as fuck. I think especially from here, if it's if it's planted over here in this spot, I think you will be able to defuse from top of the box over here. So that's super risky to do. So this is probably still the best plant in this position. Oh, kind of interesting observation. Because typically you want to narrow it down in a corner, right? There he's obviously going to get taken down, but no. Is Neo from the Matrix another early take? And it's time it's Ye to lose his life. Did you just draw weird penises? Yes, that's my hobby. This fight for A has been where the main brawl has happened for Paper X. Only if someone has a Molly. Well, they do have a Molly, but it it coincidentally, instead of dealing damage, it slows people's feet. Full 
rotation and of course C9 haven't really had to deal with that's why I don't like the sage on this map it doesn't have any good fucking utility just take a look at the hood Zelsus found himself a spot inside of it they're hearing the steps but no one's there to punish and you don't really you don't really need the wall like on icebox or on bind to plant here safe you know he's alive okay give him a shot then that'll do it seven to five paper x at the half they certainly haven't let c9 run away with this and i'm not even sure what to make of that i'm so excited for the next one to kick off yeah that's the thing it, now we get to see what c9 are going to have on the other side we get to see whether or not paper ranks paper ranks paper ranks can really do on that attack so let's see what they have to s no we're not gonna listen to the desk don't have time for that all right let's see what's the plan for um c9 because they have the neon so they're a little bit more committed right they typically will go oh let's go fast and by the way neon's job on attack is not to get kills this is very similar to ascent and jet you are not expected to get kills on attack you're expected to create space and if you get traded you did your job yeah, that doesn't qualify as doing your job, but it's unlucky, I guess. Start, he hasn't really been able to get the gears turned, and Forsaken, well, on the other hand, he'll kick this half off say, style. You could say the same. L uh, my friends, I very much dislike this, uh, this smoke, because it's like half-assed. Like, if you plan to use this smoke at the beginning of the round, right? If you plan on using this smoke at the beginning of the round, then this player should not be peeking before the smoke lands. Because... One angle of this of this trap of this smoke is to make it certain that no one stands on this spot, right? But then the thing is the chamber is gonna have a lot of space here, so he's gonna just peek out of the smoke. And the second one is, well, if you plan on using the smoke to attack, well then you should be moving this smoke to be more here. Right? So it, it covers more to the right instead of covering more to the left. Like, you don't want the smoke to be in this position if you plan on doing an attack smoke. So this is like a, not exactly this, not exactly that. So it does his job not good in any way. You know? But his luck has not got any better. <laughs> no, it really He's just hasn't. been insta-domed the second he takes a step forward. Tried to quickly make a move. Now, starting to use some of the sound cues of the doors. Maybe try and bait some people in on the rotation. A close position on B. Remember that because um, C9 plays both Chamber and, and Cypher, they have a little bit more um, leniency toward, towards uh, buying more, more bullets on Ye. He doesn't have to buy the traps in most of the rounds unless he wants to use the traps for post plant or checking corners. But you can't really check corners with the trap anymore because it activates after 4 seconds. So scratch that. You don't want to use that to check corners. It's way too late. Woohoo! Yeah, but the spacing here is not the best, I would say. But why are you re peeking into Yay Devai? Why are you re peeking into this? You did a great job already. Look, look at this. He gets one for free. He sees Yay and he thinks, yeah, let me re peek without using my flash. If your plan is to re peek this, you go into sky mode, I'm gonna flash, and then re peek. Dry peeking right here is 100% greedy mistake. With exception of Devai standing around and he almost gets two great damage onto Ye. It can be, oh, it can't be healed back up. Sorry, Zep. Of course, it's a pistol round. He hasn't. It takes four seconds to activate the chamber trip. Yes, after the last nerves. For Ye to get the value, especially with that nade on the way. Uh, not gonna be able to hold the mm. Good painters to push him out of this position, out of the comfort zone. Oh, Nah. When it's built up, it's fucked. But if when the wall builds up, you can actually destroy it with the frenzy. But after it's being built, it's like done. And Paperex, well, they'll get themselves the pistol again. Hey, you, did you hear me, Ben? Is that ben, ben behind you? Okay, he didn't turn around. Just making sure it's not piped into his ears. I he was off to a slow start for sure, but a quick double kill in the wall being the thing that wins that round. It's like, uh, there's just no way that's back after this. going for these force fights, though. Oh my. That's the thing. A lot of teams pretty much instantly shied away from this when the nerf came through. C9, they went about much time to test it. It's the same again. He did exactly the same in the last round. Same yeah, from different position, though. But again, look at the same smoke from C9. Like, it doesn't do its job 
if there's an en enemy chamber. I really dislike the smoke. It, it's it this the smoke works against a non-chamber composition, but against a chamber composition, this smoke actually is detrimental. I would say. Well, look, a taste of his own medicine when it comes to Ye. Oh, this could be dangerous. The nade is not going to catch him in time. The blast back to push Whoa. him back, but they're already on the site. They have overtaken it, and that judge, okay, good for damage, good for kills. But we've ended up in a 3v3 and starting this round out with barely any money for C9. But hey, I like the force from C9. I like the force from C9. I really like it. It was a full force, right? The only chamber didn't buy? Yeah, only chamber didn't buy. And that's again, there's something that I already spoke yesterday. Only attackers can reliably force now, which makes the pistol rounds even more uneven and more RNG. If both teams would have been able to force reliably on both defense and attack after losing a pistol round, that would have been better for the game, in my opinion. I know that pro players don't didn't like the fact that Stingers were 950 credits, but I think it was actually good for the game. The gun would have to be nerfed instead of changing its price, because changing the price limits the defenders. And I actually really love, if you watch the way they set up Zelsus' stuns, I think it was then Vanity TPs into the site, yeah, so yeah. you look one way, the dog... I think the smoke is for after chamber uses TP now, which for a second did know, but then you have to move the... I explained that with the smoke. If you do the smoke, then you should put it more into the site. You know? You know? Because there's not much difference from the defender's smoke and attacker's smoke in this case. And you want to prolong the smoke much more. Derek. You gave me permission, you know? Not the first time. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> be honest, it wasn't on purpose the first time, but from then on out, it was fine. That's just such a fantastic response. I said Paper X winning the pistol it was fantastic, but then they were seven to five. They're two down. Yeah, I, I, this is like literally the, the, the almost a defender smoke. Look at the minimap. Like, I really don't like that. To build but again, growing pains of new maps. Those, this stuff will be min-maxed at some point. Up into this half to, you know, really relegate the lead that Cloud9 have instead. Uh, I assumed it was a CT smoke until you said that. See? Bit of damage, one kill, but how much more? <laughs> 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 oh, caught another one. This was barely an incident. <laughs> <laughs> okay, right? Somehow they now have a man advantage. An absurdity in the last round with the Stingers. This would be just that little bit more ridiculous. But they still have Ye to deal with. This is a lesson learned for me, Tom. Any round can be won at this point. Regardless of the weaponry brought in. Mind oh. Freak! He's behind! Oh my god, I was actually close to Ye actually getting a kill on him. We're left into a 1v1 Forsaken. No bullets left in the head, Hunter. It's got still a has paranoia. Luckily, he hears Vanity running away. Now he's got a Vandal to work with. And Knight Vout shifting towards this player. Ooh, that's really good timing. Yeah. Oh, by the way. By the way, uh, I know it wouldn't help him. But in general, it's a good habit when you're planting to hold your crouch. I explained that in one of the Lotus Lab videos. But in general, it makes it more sense when you're planting, right? When you're like, for on Breeze, for example... Or on split, split default is probably the best example now because you are, uh, you know, we're playing split while not playing breeze. So when you're planting on on split, on B side default, right, and you're planting in this spot over here, it's a good habit to have to hold your crouch when you're planting because when you're gonna stop planting and you're not holding your crouch, your character will automatically stand up, and he will stand up while not having the gun out. So you have absolutely no way of of having a fair fight. So if you're planting, always hold your crouch till you get your gun out. You know? It's always a good habit to have. Does looking down help with hiding ahead too when planting? Yes, but in this case, I, I, I don't think he should be even looking down because he needs to be more self-aware about the angles. I do think, though, that he should have been planting in a more safe spot. Like, planting in the safe default would probably be the best choice. Actually, Ye's playing with the rifle despite having the headhunter. I mean, it's a symptom of the nerfs, I suppose. That's going to take an effective duel out of their hands. 
That too. This is so ratty from Bankai. Oh. It's basically the same spot that we saw from Ye earlier, but he actually has some cover. He can hide behind the box. How the hell did PRX lose this map? Farm the orbs up as best they can and has to be they could really something weird happening soon because this is this, this looks like they have defense under control and it seems like c9 actually had no plan for this full buy round like cypher dying first there and singular handedly taking a space main was really weird through the smoke ban was caught by okay they know that they cross to stairs yeah and jing just unfortunately just gets deleted so now they have the space through the stairs and now they can just like this is so this is very similar on this map pushing through stairs is one of the highest win rate stuff that you can do because it just completely dismantles the the, the defenders you can go anywhere very similar towards the double doors right this is why as a defenders you typically don't want to destroy the doors right and then if you also control waterfall, it puts seeds in doubt as well. But the thing is, you need to follow it as a team. Literally every door is open for them right now, and and it's it's happening right now. Oh Jesus Christ, Benkai! Okay, okay. This might be the most classic kills I've seen in a game. He's just waiting on the trap. I couldn't have gone. Wait, A game. Corner and catch them off. This might be the most classic kills I've seen in a game. I mean, this is the fourth round where I see Mind Freak do something freaky out of his mind. Like you, you the, Benkai on Seaside running out with his knife out. Mind Freak. In pistol round, pushing out CT with five players alive. Then Mind Freak uh, doing this shit. Like, there's so many basic mistakes. And if someone ever tells me, Lothar, you're toxic, fuck you, man. Do this stuff should never be happening at this level of play. This looks like ranked. As I said, Tom, close to an even buy. And after the previous right. round, you know, they can come in with five classics here. And I'm going to say one to one. Oh, they've, Economy they've, even. They've got far more than Not checking a corner. Like, basic stuff. Like, how the fuck are you doing this? Having his tour de force most likely online or indeed online at this point. You got your seekers. You got your res. I mean, a ton of opportunities there. Zelsus, though, you know, we haven't really attacked. He's thrown it down by him. He's through his... This is this got to be stressful. You any force of aggression. Talk about this map is having the potential to suffocate those attackers, and looks like that's what Paper X are aiming for. At least towards C again, we'll see this consistent player posted up to try and hold the angle. He's going for the door though, He's trying to fight his way back through. Of course. Wait, what? Oh, okay, no, that, that makes sense. Like, Paper X are aiming for at least. I don't mind again. this attack as smoke. Just to play around the chamber position, not the best, but also like it does some job to some extent. If you plan, if you plan around playing a little bit more defaulty, okay, that smoke is okay. But the chamber will still stand up. He doesn't need to move, and that's the biggest, biggest upside of having a chamber. He can be permanently stationed. Every battle has gone the way of Cloud Nine. Benkai, whoa, almost desperation here to see if he can find anything on this cross through, but he won't. I think for Ben, the best choice is exactly what he's doing, sitting back, letting Forsaken with the ulti try to take the space, uh -oh. but then when, when he goes down, I'm going to go save on the other side of the map. I know, not important, 1v5, and this is but this is really having bad habits. They're rewarded now with double you bunny hopping. The final push with a knife out when they can be everywhere and you're not even trying to get a kill like that is really bad habits you can say this round was not important it was only five but all of those rounds are just building bad habits so on defense period just got old aimed that is not true that is not true you're gonna have to kind of hope that Jin can get something done now. Oh, he didn't use his uh, TP. He actually is interesting. Oh, he didn't. No, he had it set up. So he rather took the damage than TP out because he wants to retake the space. Now he didn't risk it. Okay. 
Rex, though. There's a trap there. They'll be able to hold Wait, up. let me check something. Okay, so they forced with a stinger bulldog. Okay. I was wondering why Benkai had a stinger there. Space. They have taken full control, but you can see that Cloud Gear X didn't take it seriously. I don't like that matter. No, no, I think they took it seriously. They just, they, this is just straight up like bad habits. And I'm gonna give this up for free. This is not them not trying. Paper Rex, though. There's a trap there. They'll be able to hold on the angle, maybe get a shot off, and Forsaken got a few. Unfortunately, you're seeing that headhunter not quite what it used to be. The shots not finding a kill and uh, even though they get one in the end it is negligible 11 to 7 you think c9 played well round, hard to say when your team when your opponents are doing stuff like this back to back to back that's the thing this is looking really controlled it's really hard to say that but they have i like the ideas i really like the fact that they played chamber cypher i really like that although i probably would have preferred if they have both chamber and a sentinel I would prefer to probably play Killjoy instead of Cypher, but I don't have, you know, inner workings of the team, so I have no clue what is the reasoning. But I do think, because you will have two Sentinels with limited range on a big map like Lotus, now you can separate them and have both angles checked with, with like, the limited range of utility, and Killjoy is just, in my eyes, much stronger than Cypher. It was looking incredibly close, but... These last two quarters, I suppose, have been very one-sided. Yay, again, delivering the old two quarters, I suppose, have been... Like, dude. It was pig. Did he even use very a smoke this round? Well, surprisingly strong defense. It was... He used this... Where, where are the smokes? Where are the defender smoke? Where is the second smoke? Wait, I, I need to watch this. He using one when smoke on A... And then the attackers are using a smoke on B, right? Yeah. It, there's an attacking smoke on B, right? As you can see. And by the way, again, this those are the smokes that I was trying to teach people two years ago and I was being laughed at, right? The attacking smokes. Where is the second smoke from Mind Freak? Wait, he only has one smoke. Oh, you have to be shitting me. Oh, you have to be shitting me. Look. Mind Freak buys one smoke and goes for a full armor. No excuses. You, you can't. You can't play one smoke and favor health instead of having two smokes on Omen on this map. That is straight up trolling. These last two quarters, I suppose, have been... Very one -sided. Yay, Imagine if he was able to smoke maybe that entrance. He's just too quick. Like, why are you jump picking? You already know he is there. And you are you are just giving him an out because you are jump picking twice. So he hears it. He's going to readjust his, his crosser. Like, those, that stuff is just like, those are really bad ranked habits. For paper Rex. You know, really bad ranked habits. What do you think about that plant spots? All these plant spots on B are good. What is your opinion on Kildren race nerves? Um, type in exclamation mark Lotus Lab. There's a video about it. Aknet, when you go to Lotus Lab playlist... On the bottom of the playlist, you have three, three different videos on smokes. I would recommend watching all of them. Sometimes you see maps like this where the team comes in and you just have like, I, hell, I, I'm happy to have the excuse off the rip if I hadn't seen the game. Oh yeah, he just popped off. He just shredded them. You know, it is what it is. They played this map better. Their prep, better. They suffocated Paper X's attack. They kept them trapped in spawn. They denied the a long aggression. Their comp with Zelsus worked perfectly. Zelsus is 11 and 14 right now, which is a damn miracle. This guy has been put in the worst <laughs> positions consistently, and he's still putting up the numbers. Oof. And you know, look at this. Look how hard it was for Paper X to yeah. take that map control. It's much better composition for um for na Cloud9. They can. You guys remember how I spoke about the composition of PRX? With that, with the composition that they have, they had no significant amount of util or any aces in their sleeves to control a main 
while C9 have everything. They have stuns from Neon, they have the speed of the Neon, they have the cages, so they don't have to use the smokes from Omen, they have the paranoia, they like and the flasher from the sky. Every single piece, every single character that, that is in C9 can actually help in taking a, a main space. Well, that cannot be said about uh, about um, PRX, and it's very visible how how the battles go in a main space. Like that's that's the main difference between those two teams right now on attack. Does switch, switching weapon to your chamber ult makes the rescope faster? No. <laughs> that's funny. That's funny, man. Looks like we'll get one more out of this one. Celsius not going to be clutching out the 1v4. That would have put him positive. 12 to 8. In general, in general, guys, animation cancelling a... Um, animation cancelling a reload makes you slower. Animation cancelling operator scope makes you slower. It's better to leave the gun out. The only reason why you want to swap to a knife after shooting an operator is to have the movement buff. And that's that's it. For Cloud9 to close it out. They're on the attack. Their early space taking has been fantastic. And we have to yet again mention but that door opening The fact is Cloud9 have so round. They just used three of them, right? So it, it's that's burned it up and they didn't get the round for it. An attempt to get it over the line and an attempt failed. However, they haven't had too many struggles elsewhere. Again, we're gonna see this aggressive push coming through from Forsaken. He's going that little bit further. Now, the TP across, he'll know that he's there. He might have just been spotted. That little jump across. Oh, he missed it. Oh, okay. But still got two for one. But even still, the advantage sits firmly with... Yeah, and now it's like... That's a very nice setup to attacking. Look. Look what they do. Cypher by default pops the cage on A and sets up the trap, right? So uh, entire PRX has to be focused now on retaking the A space because they know that C9 can be faster than them on the A main. But basically they baited Forsaken into going C deep and I don't understand this. Look, this is like Forsaken gets insanely baited. His job is to stay in this area. Look where he goes. Like, he gets just baited by the TP and, and the jump peaks. He just assumes that the Omen is alone because he has no info from the A players about the push because of the Cypher Cage. So he goes into deep, into this area, when he cannot use his character. Because he is not in range of his TP. If he would be doing his job, he would be stationed like this, like yay, <clears throat> like yay, on defense, and he would be doing his job as a stationary turret but it, right now he's being baited he gets one right but that's about it it's a miracle he gets one and it's a, this is detrimental for the defense not only they lost the uh trap they lost also more space and what is even more important the only reason why he got one is because yay whiffed if yay doesn't whiff on him he gets zero just because he has no discipline in standing in his in his area that he was designated to stay and on the in the meantime look what happens on b they just get a kill on mind freak who's just standing there watch being spotted by the tiger look look at the map look at the map he gets just spammed through the smoke no actually the smoke is still spawning i'm not certain if he's, if he's like fully visible or not but you don't have to show yourself that to destroy the tiger. You can literally just be hidden in that spot. But he peeks into it. Another bad habit. You know? It's like the combination of bad habits from PRX are literally making them... Literally making them lose all of those unnecessary duels. And I know, some of this is inside Harry, right? Like the, the Omen on B-side. But I honestly do believe those are bad habits that are building up and are making it very easily punishable by the teams with better discipline. You know? Over and over about how strong this can be for teams fighting back in. This isn't a death sentence yet, but 
everything has to go right on the way through. One hero play, a big performance from one of these players without Ye on the server right now, and it looks like everyone's chipping in. Leafs got yeah. two, and it's finished up right. by Zelsis. 13 to 8. To, Absolute decimation on paper. To sum it up, this, this map was won by Cloud9 by two things. One, better composition, more planned executions, more ideas when it comes to taking space but they got that handled they got that like literally just handed to them on a silver platter because prx has worse discipline and does really questionable things on a personal level when it comes to having really really bad habits over peaking jump peaking unnecessarily many times in the same angle not playing with the with their own like in the range of their own tasks, like the chamber, for example, you know?